Hello to all. Today we will be going to discuss about a very important law of inheritance given by the Mendel and that is known as the law of segregation. First of all you must know that what is segregation. Segregation means separation. Okay. Now this law of segregation is also called as the law of purity of gametes. Now we will be trying to understand here that why it is called as the law of segregation and why it is called as the law of purity of gametes. But very first you must know that like the law of dominance, the law of segregation is also based on the monohybrid cross. But you must remember this thing that this law of segregation is a universal law and it has no exception. We have seen that in the law of dominance, exceptions were there. But here there is no exception. Now what does the law says? The factor for each trait means the gene for each character. The factor for each trait means the gene for each trait segregated during gametogenesis. Means gametogenesis means the gamete formation. This law says and suggests that at the time of the gametogenesis, the factor for each trait, trait means character, segregate. And as a result of which what happens? Each gamete receives only one factor. Each gamete receives only one factor for each character. And hence it will be always pure because each gamete is receiving only one factor and that's why it will be bearing only one character okay so it will be always pure and therefore it is also called as the law of purity of gametes because each gamete is pure for any particular character or the trait say for capital T or small t so capital T the gamete which will be bearing the capital T will be pure for tallness and the gamete which will be bearing the small t will be pure for dwarfness. It means the gamete will be bearing either capital T or small t. Okay. So what is the explanation of this law of segregation? That in F1 plants or the F1 offsprings, you can see this is the F1 hybrid, there is a combination of capital T small t. So there is a combination of capital T small t. Okay. Now the factor capital T and small t, this F1 hybrid consists of two factors that is capital T and small t. So the factor capital T and small t, what does this law says? That this factor capital T and small t will separate at the time of gametogenesis, will separate at the time of gametogenesis. You can see that when gametogenesis will occur, this will separate and this will also separate. So this gamete will be having only the capital T and this gamete will be having the small t. So each gamete is pure for any particular trait. Say for capital T is pure for tallness and small t is pure for dwarfness. Means what? 50% here you can see that 50% of the gametes will be having the capital T and rest 50% will be having the small t. Okay. So, now you must also know that this segregation, this segregation, right, it is also important in the case of the sexually producing organism. How it is important? So, segregation is essential during the meiotic division. Whenever the meiotic division occur, what happens? Segregation occur. And this segregation which occurs during the meiotic cell division is actually occurring in the sexually reproducing organism. Okay. Now, law of segregation can also be defined as, we can also define law of segregation in this manner also. When a pair of alleles are brought together in F1 hybrid, when a pair of alleles, you can see here, when a pair of alleles is brought together in F1 hybrid, then this pair of the hybrid, you can see they remain together. They remain together means they coexist together but they are not mixed up with each other, they are not contaminating each other or they are not blending with each other. 
okay right and they separate and they separate see here at the time of gametogenesis they separate and they separate completely and purely during the gametogenesis or we can say it as formation of gametes means the very important thing what you have to notice is that that both the characters are recovered in the F2 generation why because at the time of the gametogenesis both have been separated so both the characters will be recovered in the F2 generation that is the dominant as well as the recessive while we have seen that in F1 generation only one of the character was expressed okay so this is the law of segregation very important law having no exception so dear student this video was based on the law of segregation will be coming soon with few more videos based on genetics so keep watching hope so you have liked my video if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take